see you. Thanks. I know you're a very busy man. Are you as are you as busy as you always are? Are you teaching at eleven schools and all no. that stuff? No. No, you're not. Decidedly okay. no. Oh really? I stopped. This movie. I watched this movie the other night, and I'm first of all, it's really funny and really good, and oddly inspirational in a way. But yeah. it's confusing, I think, and you have to kind of. I think you need to explain the what happened, the backstory here, and okay. why you decided to make this movie. The movie's about the making of what's called the best worst movie ever made. Right. Which is a particular thing, because there are thousands of bad movies that we will never watch again. Yeah. People have been watching this movie, The Room, for 14 and a half years. It's been going on for a yeah. long time because Like, it's... I was just in London. It's like people and they watch know it in London. Like, the best audience for The Room is in London. Like, they show it in Paris, they show it in Tokyo. Because it, it makes them yeah. feel superior to Americans when they see this kind of <laughs> stuff. Although we don't even know <laughs> if the lead character is in him. We don't know where this guy well, came from. We can ask him. Yeah, well, he's going to be here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, we can So this him. guy named Tommy yeah. may decide, and his friend, they weren't getting the acting roles that they yes. wanted. Yes, um, that's the backstory. Yeah, uh -huh. the backstory is, and I came to it through the backstory. I actually did not see the room when it was, you know, in Or when everybody days. was watching yeah. it and saying, yeah, yeah. you have to see this. Oh. It came, the book came out about four years ago. Uh -huh. And I realized that, you know, the story behind it was incredible because it was the same amount, there was the same amount of passion in these guys as, you know, as a young Coppola. Anybody. Yeah, anyone. Right. It's just that they ended up making something, you know, it's just terrible. Uh, well, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, I don't... I, don't, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we can... Tommy's yeah. here. I know, I'm Tommy's like, here. I mean, I'm, when I say terrible, I'm, of course, I mean <laughs> terrific. <laughs> Anyway, what I respected <laughs> so much about Tommy is he got it made. How many people, you know, want to break into the movie business? Millions of people in the course of, you know, the history of the movies, and they don't make it. Tommy got his movie made. Uh huh. And then not only that, it somehow, in some weird, <laughs> crazy way, became this hit. There's a billboard that was right down the block yeah. from our theater for many, many years. Yeah. Like, how long was that billboard up? Do you know? I think it was five years. Five years for a movie. You on his own them. dime. On too, his own dime. Way. That's the whole already thing hundreds on his of own thousands dime. of dollars. So this is this, yeah. this, this menacing billboard that, like, I was actually fearful of this man I when I would try to buy it. <laughs> I was describing it to uh, Gary Oldman the other day. Uh -huh. And I saw the light bulb go off. He's like, oh, Wait, that bloody thing? Like, yeah. I know that thing. Like, you didn't know what it was. You thought it was, like, somebody today was like, oh, yeah, I thought that was, like, a wanted poster. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I thought it was, like, a cult or... And it's got a phone yeah. number on it. And yeah. it's... And what is the phone number to? That goes... That goes to Tommy's apartment. To his apartment. Like, he'll answer, <laughs> yeah. Hello? <laughs> Go see my movie camp at Sunset Five. And so now you have put up <laughs> your own billboard that is now in the exact same spot yeah. with the same phone number. Is it still going to his apartment? Um, well, it, somebody answers. I don't know if I... Uh, okay. It's either me or Tommy. Okay, somebody answers. <laughs> somebody answers sometimes. Okay, all right. Yeah. So I want to show a clip from... Just so we can explain yeah. kind of what's going on. This is a clip from The Room. Okay. Uh, James Franco's not in this clip. Uh, but this is the original movie on which the disaster artist is based. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bull****. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. OK, that's a real scene from a movie. And now here is James Franco in, <laughs> playing that same role that uh, Tommy played. Action. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bull****. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> so, why was the green screen uh, like that? Because that's how they shot it. I don't know if you <laughs> noticed those buildings, the background of his shot don't look exactly like they fit there. Yeah. They shot it, not only, they shot it in the parking lot of the rental, the equipment rental place, Burns and Sawyer, that used to be on La Brea. Uh-huh. Why? I don't know. We'll have to, <laughs> I still don't know. And they I didn't even movie. rent equipment. They bought all their equipment. Tommy bought all the equipment. How much money did he spend on this movie? I was told $6 million. <laughs> $6 now, million. we're going to get all... Hopefully, Jimmy, tonight, we will get all the I answers. would love to know, because Tommy is here. Nobody knows how he got $6 million. Nobody knows... That, uh, there, that, were... there are three mysteries. Okay. One is... I don't think we're going to get to the bottom of any of them tonight. Okay. Just a uh, warning. All right. We can try. All right. Well, let's try. How old he is. Okay. He's, I think he's... 
mean, we can ask him. I you mean, he's a, he's a friend of mine. I he's an actor. Him. Nobody okay. knows how old anybody is here. He yeah. says he was in his, that clip we just saw, he said he was in his 20s. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was 15 years ago? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, where he's from. Uh -huh. so he oh. sound like he sound like this, right? He's, and I guess he's from New Orleans. You know, he's all American guy. Uh huh. <laughs> and um, and where, where he, he got, got the money? Six million dollars. Right, well, let's take a break. And we come back. We're gonna see a clip from the disaster artist, and we're gonna meet Tommy too. James right. Franco is here. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.